Hello and welcome to another episode of Sci Fair Real Talk. I am your host, Jim Mulholland, and today we have a very special guest. So, Mr. Josh Gazkowski. Oh, I just blew your name That's first thing. Good. That's good. <laughs> Josh Gazowski is with us. Thank you for joining us, Josh. Thank you for having me. So, Josh is with Fidelity National Home Warranty. So, this is uh, it's a, an interesting topic. So, I think there's a lot of. Uh, a lot of misconceptions about uh, home warranties, and a lot of people have questions about home warranties. Uh, us as realtors, when we uh, talk about all the benefits for potential um, clients and buyers, uh, there's always a lot of questions, and you do hear some horror stories. So I'm glad you're here to kind of clarify all that, and uh, and welcome. Thank you. So um, yeah, before we get going, uh, tell us a little about yourself. Um, so we're actually a husband and wife team. Um, I've been in the home warranty industry for almost 12 years and my beautiful bride Sharon joined me a little over a year ago and uh, we had an opportunity to uh, grow our territory when she joined me so we added Cyprus and a couple of the other uh, closer uh, cities to our territory but um, what would you like where, where, where'd you, where'd you, uh, where'd you come from? Uh, well, that's a long story. I'll try to make it short because my dad was in the Air Force and I was in the, the Navy. So uh, I was born in San Antonio, uh, but moved around. Really say I was raised in Michigan, if you were to ask me where I, was, where I, where I grew up, and then okay. joined the Navy out of high school, served uh, seven years, four in Virginia, a little over two, no, a little under two in Sicily, and then last year was wow. in Florida. Okay. And then, uh, well, yeah. thank you for your service. That's awesome. So how many years total? Seven. Seven years. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. All right. Um, so, uh, and before you moved to the Houston area, you were where? Uh, Arizona. I moved Arizona. out to Arizona um, after getting out of the Navy. Uh, a friend of mine that I served with was moving to Arizona, and I didn't want to. I want to go somewhere new. I want to go a little bit, a little bit warmer, uh, somewhere I hadn't mm -hmm. been. And um, he was moving to Arizona. I said, "All right." So I moved out there uh, with a goal of becoming a relationship counselor for military couples, actually. So oh, wow. I ended okay. up going to uh, Arizona State, getting a bachelor's in family and human development. But along the way, I chipped my tooth, uh, which led me to go to the dentist's office where I met Sharon. <laughs> and uh, as, Funny. As, <laughs> as, as, as so life happens. Yeah. Um, Was she, uh, 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 did she work there? Was she, she did, yeah. Okay, she did. got it. Um, and uh, uh, a, a friend of mine I went to college with um, ended up going in the title. And I had no idea. I was a renter. I had no idea what home warranty was. Um, after I graduated, struggled to find work a little bit with the bachelor's degree. And uh, I just happened to hit her up one day on LinkedIn. I was like, yeah. I just said hi. That same day, she co-sponsored a real estate event with okay. another home warranty company. And she asked if they were hiring, and the rest is history. Wow. Okay. That was all in Arizona. That was all in Arizona, uh, right. Okay. All right. And then how'd you get, uh, how'd you get uh, Texas? Why was Texas a destination? So it's ironic that the move to Arizona, my friend's wife was a nurse, getting a nursing degree. Okay. That's why they moved to Arizona. My wife's brother was in Abu Dhabi as a nurse. He got a job at H uh, Houston Methodist. And Katie, also mm -hmm. a nurse. Um, uh, and um, long story short, it was just a perfect, the stars aligned. It was time for our family to move, be closer to Sharon's brother. I also have friends in the area. I've got family in San Antonio. So nice. the stars aligned for us. Yeah. Okay. And you've been here how long now? Little over two years. Okay. We're two years in June. All right. And uh, how do you, and you're in Cyprus. We're in Cyprus. Yeah. All right. And how do you like Cyprus? We love it. Yeah. We awesome. love it. It's very similar to uh, Gilbert, Arizona, where it's um, more residential, mm -hmm. but everything is just so close. Right. Like no matter which direction you head, everything you need is right there. Right. We love yeah. it. Yeah, that's good. And you are in North Lake Forest, I believe, yeah, right? right? So I've been uh, no, it's a great neighborhood over off Spring Cypress there. Mm -hmm. um, I was pretty close to there um, before Uncle's Crossing, so I kind of mm -hmm. know the area well. It's nice. It's one of the uh, areas in Cypress that actually has trees. Huh. So because there yeah. are some, like Bridgeland, if you uh, drive around Bridgeland, or like where we are here, the majority of it is prairie land, pasture. Right. Um, so when I moved to Coles, one of the reasons I moved there in 99, one of the main reasons we moved there is because it was wooded. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, to be honest, and it may sound weird if you, you're from here, but a big attraction for us, especially Sharon, who is only living in the Philippines or in Arizona, 
is the trees. So we yeah. absolutely love being surrounded by trees. Yeah. So that was uh, that was the thing is that we that's what we wanted. And um, now it's interesting. 290 almost separates the tree area from the hmm. prairie land in Cyprus. And uh, yeah, if you go south of the 290, like in Bridgeland, you have trees around Cypress Creek. But for the most part, it's just a prairie. Oh. It's just <laughs> flat. <laughs> so, um, but no, that uh, we always liked it over there in that part of uh, that part of Cyprus. So that's that's awesome. Um, so that's good. So is there any any particular restaurants you like to go to, or anything you enjoy doing in Cyprus? I mean, I feel like just the move to Texas in general. Um, you just you can't help but put on weight because like there's just <laughs> so much good restaurants and it's like right. never ending. Yeah. Right. I'm still uh, I'm still chasing like my favorite barbecue place is actually in rosenberg i'm actually like still looking for like a closer i'll take i'll take your suggestions but um <laughs> it's a chain restaurant but my f actually favorite restaurant is gringo's like their yeah. their gringo's. their burrito con queso with steak mm -hmm. oh man that's my favorite but uh, we <laughs> enjoy a lot of a lot of eating in cypress yeah. and the surrounding areas yeah and there's a, a lot of options now so when we moved here you know, 99, there's nothing out here. So that was the one thing. I remember we were here, my uh, friends joke that we lived in southeast Austin because there's nothing between basically the Beltway and mm. Cypress. <laughs> so it was a long drive. Fairfield was called Farfield because it was so far mm. out. Now it's kind of, now we got, everything's out here. So lots, yeah. lots of options. Good schools, good food. Right, so, yeah, great schools. Yeah. Love so. having the Houston outlets nearby too. Right, yeah, yeah. So that's that's good. So, all right, well, uh, so welcome, welcome. Welcome to Texas. So I'm glad you made it. <laughs> yeah, we, no, we absolutely love living here. Yeah, so. the, the, the community, our neighbors are like the best. We love the neighborhood. Everyone's friendly. Uh, and to be honest, like Texans are friendlier. Like, yeah. you know, I've lived in yeah. several states in another country and there is like a warm, warm neighborly embrace that you right. get. And we have been able to grow in the real estate industry in two years. I mean, I, I was in the real estate industry and home warranty nine years in Arizona. Oh, I would wow. say okay. there's, we built more connections in two years than I awesome. did in nine years. Yeah. So we, we absolutely love it here. That's great. So you've been in uh, home warranty for 11 years total. Right. That's awesome. That's great. So uh, we definitely have the right person to talk to <laughs> to tell us about home warranty. So that's great. So there's no, uh, no urge to move back to Michigan, I guess. Oh, <laughs> no, no. Visit. <laughs> A little chilly. Visit. <laughs> We've never had a high school reunion. Yeah. But I'm coming up. I graduated in 2000. I'm okay. coming up on the 25th. Ooh. We've never had one. So I'm going to try to like see if we could do something nice. um, next year. But How big was your class, your graduating class? Uh, 92 or 93 oh, people. Small school. Okay. Yeah. One, one stoplight. You okay. know, um, what, what, uh, what part of Michigan was it? Uh, the Southern Thumb area. It's okay. about 40 minutes north of Detroit. Okay. Nice. Small right. town. Even people, even people from Michigan, when we run into other people from Michigan, <laughs> Most of the time, we'll say where we're from, and it's very rare we know. Right. Because it's just most outsiders know Michigan for the bigger cities. Right. But Michigan really is a million small towns, um, and you usually don't leave that area. So yeah. I, I left in 2000. I cross paths all the time with people from Michigan. I'm like, I have no idea. I mean, we'll show the hand, right? So where are you from right here? But, you know, <laughs> other than funny. that, like if they name a city, yeah. I'm usually like, oh, I've never heard of it. And the same, yeah. same with me. You know, it's a yeah. town where you sneeze and you're, you pass it already. Yeah. You know. That's awesome. Yeah. That's, a, you know, that's a state I've never been to. Never been to Michigan. So. If you are going to visit, definitely the yeah. summer. Definitely been, the spring or summer. Yeah. And that's, yeah, definite. No, I've been, uh, I think it's Ohio, Illinois, and some other states up there, but never, never made it to Michigan. Maybe one day. All right. Well, um, well, tell us a little bit about Fidelity, and um, I guess let's just get started. So, what is home warranty? Home warranty is it's a beneficial item that's typically included in a real estate transaction. Although any current homeowner qualifies to get a home warranty, but the way I break home warranty down, why you would want one is savings and convenience. Mm -hmm. Um, items that are covered by home warranty um, really is as follows, air conditioning, heating, electrical, plumbing, garage door opener, water heater, and appliances. There's optional upgrades and stuff like that too. But the convenience aspect is that home warranty companies, we have a network of licensed and bonded contractors standing by. So you don't, if something, one of your covered items breaks, you don't have to Google a contractor and pay them an hourly rate and whatever they want to charge for a repair or replacement. 
With home warranty, we have the network of licensed and bonded contractors standing by. Yeah. You get the annual plan, again, usually included in a real estate transaction for at least the first year. Um, one of those items stops functioning or functioning properly, pay the service fee. Um, it can range from $75 to $125. Okay. Um, and then you contact the home warranty, schedule, um, pay the service fee. They, we then assign that work order to one of our local licensed bonded contractors. They come out and do a diagnostic and see if they need to repair or replace. Okay. There will be times where it's just the service fee, 85 bucks, you can get a brand new water heater you know, for 85 bucks. It's possible, wow. but there are times where there might be some out-of-pocket cost. Yeah. Um, it's gonna depend on the home warranty and their coverage and their dollar limits. Yeah, okay. No, that's um, definitely, uh, that you, you kind of touched on a couple points there that I think are, are important. One, the, the savings. But two, like you mentioned, just not wondering who to call, right? Because right. that, that's a big part of being a homeowner is, you know, my water heater went out or plumbing went out or something. Who do I call? You know, and it's just the amount of time of Googling and going on Facebook or asking around takes a long time versus if you have a warranty company, it's like, hey, Josh, right, right. <laughs> my water heater went out. <laughs> what do I do? Right. And boom, boom, boom. It's done for you. So it's nice. Right. So, yeah, Fidelity has been around, too, you know, um, underneath uh, the Fortune 500 company been protecting Houston homeowners for over uh, almost 20 years, but then been in existence, you know, uh, in business for over 40 years. So with that said, we, we have our foundation here in the Houston area. We've got our contractors. Um, yeah, and we're just, we're, they're, they're just standing by to assist. Yeah, okay, no, that's awesome. So, um, yeah, I mean, you mentioned um, other war warranty companies. So we've had, you know, a lot of warranty companies come here. So um, there's a pretty, uh, busy business, I guess you would say, in the, the Cypress area. So I know you all have like different business models. Um, they're not all different business models, but there are different business models um, within warranty. So how, what would you say you guys do differently than maybe some of your competition? Well, okay. So I, I, th I was starting to, I was preparing for the answer, but realized I was hearing you and, and I was preparing the wrong answer. Um, <laughs> So when it comes down to home warranty, when you, like say if you're in a real estate transaction or you're shopping, a lot of times you look at a brochure, because um, that's typically what home warranty companies have, and you'll look and you'll see we, we cover the same items that I mentioned. So in truth, there's some similarities, right? We cover the same items. We typically have license bonded contractors standing by, and we have dollar limits set aside. Um, I think I already touched on one in that we're underneath the Fortune 500 company. Uh, I've been in the industry for over 11 years, and I've seen a lot of home warranty companies come and go. So you want to know that your company is going to be around, and you kind of have that peace of mind and security going with a Fidelity uh, company. Yeah. Um, a big area we separate ourselves is dollar limits. Um, when researching a home warranty company, I'm going to circle back to this, but um, questions are not asked enough, and the number one question should be, what is your dollar limits? And Fidelity... We are at the top uh, in every major category. That doesn't mean we're alone. Um, mm -hmm. But for instance, one of the biggest ticket items you want to have covered in the Houston areas, especially, excuse me, is an air conditioner. Absolutely. We have, where we have no dollar limit for repair replacement, no limit on number of units. Wow. Okay. That, That's huge. No dollar limit includes Freon. If you're Joe or Sally homeowner and you're not familiar, most homes have a five ton unit, which uh, takes 10 pounds of Freon. In the summertime, Freon fluctuates but it could be up to a couple hundred dollars per pound or more than that. Um, oh. So uh, knowing what your home warranty coverage uh, is very important um, and asking those questions. But um, you, t you mentioned it, uh, a claim and calling Josh or Sharon, that would be a differentiating factor between home warranty and like homeowner's insurance in that we'll help you set up. We, your local experts want you to get comfortable and help you find the right coverage. Um, most home warranty companies have a tier system two to four home warranty plans. And usually it's kind of almost based on the age of the home. The older the home is, usually the higher you want to go up. Um, but uh, I, I know I'm going on and on, so I'll take a, I'll take a second and let you yeah. jump in. <laughs> oh, no problem. Oh, so I was going to say, sorry. <laughs> we'll help you set up your claim. Uh, I'm sorry, we will not help you set up your claim. We'll help you set up your policy, but yeah. unlike insurance, if something's not working or functioning properly, you would want to contact the home warranty service team. However, though, being your local home warranty advocates, if you were to reach out to us for a claim, we would point you in the right direction. 
Okay. So, um, but no, that brings up a good point. You had mentioned insurance um, along with home warranty. I know there can be some confusion and there's some people think there's some overlap between the two, which there is a little, I think they can kind of work hand in hand. Um, but if you could kind of explain maybe the differences between a home warranty and maybe a homeowner's insurance policy and how they, how they can work hand in hand and what the differences are uh, for our viewers, that'd be awesome. Right, yeah. So homeowner's insurance is like fire, theft, vandalism, uh, weather, where home warranty, again, kind of the, the items I talked about earlier, systems and appliances, um, where they could go hand in hand. I always like the scenario of using the water heater. If the water heater leaks and creates damage to the home, the water heater itself, uh, whether it needs to be repaired or replaced, would be covered by the home warranty, but the damage caused by the leak would be covered by homeowner's insurance. Okay. Yeah, no, that makes uh, perfect sense. So, um, so yeah, so that brings up a good question. If I had like a bad water heater, um, what is the process from the time that my water heater goes out and I want to get that fixed through a uh, Fidelity home warranty? Well, I'll just speak in general terms. So I, I like the water heater as an example. Home warranty, it's about the functionality. So as long as the item is not functioning or functioning properly, for instance, uh, water heater sometimes can make noise. Now that is usually a sign that sediment is building up, but if the hot water is still being produced, um, you cannot place a claim in the home warranty industry. It needs to stop functioning or functioning properly. Mm -hmm. um, so let's say your hot water heater is no longer making hot water. Then you'll want to contact the home warranty service department. Usually it can be online or a 1-800 number. Th uh, there you will tell them what's going on with your covered item. Uh, they can't do a diagnostic over the phone. Um, so after you've told them what's going on, they're going to say, okay, we're going to move forward with your claim. And then collect these service fee or deductible. And at that point, we will then assign, again, I'm speaking in general terms, the home warranty company will assign a local license bond contractor to your claim. They will then, in turn, contact the homeowner to schedule an appointment, usually about a two to four hour business window. They're going to come out, do a diagnostic, and see if they need to repair or replace the item. So there will be times where the service fee is all you pay, and they might be able to complete the repair replacement right then and there. Water heaters, a lot of times they have them. I'm not saying this is, you know, but I'm just saying a lot of times or sometimes they'll have the water heater in the, the back, of their, uh, back of their van. So sometimes they can complete the repair replacement right then and there. But there might be times, depending on the coverage, um, exclusions and dollar limits where there may be some out-of-pocket costs and also they the technician might need to order a part or pick up a part and schedule uh, a second appointment so okay. a benefit there is unlike if you didn't have a home warranty again it's not an hourly rate it's a service fee so in this case if they have to come back you're not paying another service fee okay and they will give you a quote if there's more if there's an out-of-pocket cost hey right. maybe we'll fix this but we, it'll cost us XYZ. Right. If, yes. if for some reason, which is possible, there's a, a difference owed, a dollar amount owed, they traditionally cannot move forward with completing the repair replacement until that difference is paid. Got it. And that's something that's going to be uh, clearly stated in like the home warranty contract that right. will cover these particular items, but not these. And Right. And Usually with the home warranty brochure contract, there is covered items, exclusions, and if the company has dollar limits, they should be listed. Um, sometimes you might have to request that, but usually when you purchase your home warranty, usually a contract is mailed or emailed to the, uh, the homeowner okay. with those details. Nice. Um, okay. Um, so the home warranty industry, um, I guess, kind of has a negative connotation to some people there's some uh some things that i know uh, i know you know you're in the business mm -hmm. uh, and, that, and that we hear um some people have had some pretty bad experiences for you know what, so not your company for instance but just for I, I, I know i've had a bad experience with the warranty company um several years ago again not fidelity but we had a, an issue where um we had uh, our main sewage line in our house was blocked up mm -hmm. uh everything was coming sewage was coming <laughs> into back into our bathtub and our um shower and stuff and we called the warranty company and they came out and the, they did one of the one of a little grinder or something to, and he couldn't fix it he's like yeah sorry i can't fix it I was like what do we do he's like i don't know i can't help you but you gotta pay our fee 
<laughs> I was like, I was like, is it covered? So I go, yeah, it's covered. But my, I just can't, it, what my tool will not fix what you guys have. Oh, okay. I was like, okay. She's like, he's like, you can try to call and see if they can send someone That's else second, out. Right. And I was like, okay. But then I was stuck. So I ended up calling another plumber that we got referred to us. And the, the guy fixed it in like 30 seconds. <laughs> he was like, Because he, he had the tool. He had the tool. I was like, oh. Um, anyway, um, so that was my bad experience. But then on the other hand, yeah. I mean, um, I've had clients get water heaters replaced. And, you know, people who just love it because of everything it offers. So I guess my question to you is that what are some of the misconceptions? And, and for some of these negative stories, I guess, right. what, uh, what, what do you see as the benefits on the other side of that? Right. So the mis common misconception is, is that we're all the same. Yeah. Um, and that, that's just not true. Now, I mentioned earlier, and again, it's a true statement. We all cover the same items. That, that's a true statement. And we have licensed and bonded contractors. Uh, that's a true statement. Uh, but it's, I feel, and in my uh, expert opinion, it is that if homeowners, and in some instances, real estate agents, were better educated on home warranty, uh, and that comes with the opportunity of speaking with a local home warranty expert, or just being able to speak with someone representing the home warranty company and asking questions. I, I have seen, it has proven, that the people that we, like Sharon and myself, have been able to speak with, that if something goes wrong um, in a claim for whatever reason, they now know they can reach out to us for assistance. Mm -hmm. We have uh, an assistant with the service team. She's actually a service manager with over 25 years of experience. She will research a claim, reach out to a contractor, uh, get her ducks in a row, reach out to the homeowner, get the claim moving forward in the right direction. If we don't have a chance to speak, or connect with the buyer, because again, we're speaking, um, we focus mainly on real estate transactions, but again, um, anyone that's a homeowner can qualify to get a home warranty. But in real estate transactions, when we have the ability to connect with buyers in advance, it makes things so much smoother um, and afterwards as well, not just for making sure they understand their coverage and benefits, um, but that they know that we're available after the close. I really do believe a lot of the complaints that the home warranty industry gets is, is honestly due to lack of education. I think a uh, buyer gets the home warranty last minute, realtor says, uh, your refrigerator's covered, you know, your uh, air conditioning's covered, and they just think, oh, I just call and I can get a new one. Or, <laughs> you know, they don't realize that there's covered, right. there's, there's uncovered items, there's exclusions, that sometimes we can't get someone out right away. Right. You know, um, now we have a network of licensed bonded contractors, and I will share this. Whenever you call in for a home warranty, if you hear me, please, this is, this is part of the, one of the misconceptions. Um, if you call a home warranty and they say, uh, and, and they assign a contractor, and the contractor is saying, okay, I, I'll, I come out there in three days. That's too long for you. Please know we have more contractors in our network. <laughs> My first Good. suggestion to you, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner, is call the home warranty company back and ask if you can get someone out sooner. Yeah. I would say eight out of 10 times, unless it's a summer, it's air conditioning. But yeah. for the most part, you call the home warranty back, they're gonna be able to find a contractor that can come out sooner. Because that would, that would be, I would say, one of, the, one of the things that, it's usually just air conditioning in the summer, really, but <laughs> wait, waiting times, right? The benefits, I feel outweigh that. The savings, right? An air conditioner without a home warranty um, depends on who you go with. Could be for a five-ton unit, could be eight thousand, could be twelve thousand, could be fifteen thousand, depending on who, who's charging you. With a home warranty, you can get an air conditioner uh, with the service fee. Now there may be some out-of-pocket costs, especially with the air conditioner, but it's not going to be eight thousand. It won't be ten thousand. It won't be yeah. twelve thousand. Yeah. However, please know that it might not be right away. There might be a waiting period, but you're also saving thousands of dollars. So yeah. um, uh, the common misconception for sure is that we're all the same. Um, yeah. When we're not, there's differentiating factors between the coverage, the service, uh, and the value that your local reps can provide. Yeah. Awesome. You know, I think a, mo a common misconception you touched on before is that they're not only for new homeowners too, right? An existing homeowner, someone like me who's lived in my house for 10 years, I could call you and, and get set up right away, right? I can get my own insurance, I mean, warranty policy. Right, yeah, I Googled this not too long ago and the average home in the Houston area is over 30 years old. So in real estate transactions, we should see home warranties more than we do. I, I feel um, um, that 
I can't give you a number, but I, I have polled on, on social media and I've gotten 50%, 25%, uh, but not many people said they put a home warranty in 100% of their transactions. Hmm. Um, but this is not a seller's market and due to the interest rates, or which I know we're not fun to talk about, this is a prime market for home warranties to be included in real estate transactions. So um, if you're realtors or someone who's buying a house now and you hear me, um, home, home warranty should be included every transaction in the Houston area right now. But yes, we also cover current homeowners. So if your house, um, if you realize like, okay, we've been here for a while or it's just an older house, um, you, you qualify. Uh, a difference between getting a home warranty in a real estate transaction and outside of a real estate transaction is waiting period. Mm -hmm. um, in both instances, everything must be in good working order. I guess, oh, I waved my hand. Uh oh, I hope we're okay here. <laughs> I didn't raise it too high. Yeah, we're good. A common misconception I would say maybe is um, sometimes you hear a home buyers, homeowners think maybe something was called out in the home inspection. Oh, the home warranty will take care of that. Right. Real estate or non real estate, home warranty, we do not cover known pre existing yep. issues. Exactly. They are not built for you to move in on day one or for you to own your house, realize, oh, my ice maker's not working. Let me get a home warranty and uh, call them. Um, home, home warranty, um, we could not exist. Right. Um, or we, would, we would charge triple the <laughs> amount <laughs> right. um, to cover pre-existing issues. Right, right. But yes, so, so, it, so but, is there a, way, uh, a set waiting period? So if I had called and said, hey, I need to get this set up, is there a waiting period? Yep. So, Traditionally 30 days. 30 days. Okay, got it. Outside of a real estate transaction. Yeah. So okay. right now, I feel with summer coming to a close, this is, if someone doesn't have a home warranty, this is a great time to consider it. Next couple months, before December, because... Home warranty is not on your shopping list, I'm sure, when it comes to the holidays <laughs> right. or, um, you know, prior prior to spring because it's warmer here, you know, right. prior to spring, maybe January, February. Um, you know, if you if you don't want to add one now, I would recommend yeah. if your home is older, especially your air conditioning units older. Look at adding a home warranty um, prior to next summer. And yeah. remember that 30 day no claim period. So you don't think my wife would be excited to unwrap that home warranty underneath the tree on uh, well, Christmas morning? <laughs> Look at that, honey. <laughs> it's a shiny new home warranty. Yeah. <laughs> she could be. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Um, but no, that's, that's, that's good. But that's a good time, too, because, uh, like you say, you, with the 30-day wait, it's starting to get cooler now. So if, um, yeah, so um, hopefully you're not going to have any issues with the AC. It's not working as hard. Right. Um, the, I mean, the heating he, is covered as well, but yeah. when you think of home warranty, especially in the Houston area, the number one you thing you think of is going to be the, the air conditioning unit. And is that statistically, I'm sure you see the number, is that what people call you the most about or when you hear about home warranty claims in I the would Houston say, area? I would say um, air conditioner, it, well, it's what you think of, right? And I'm kicking myself because I know we've recently talked about this on a team call. I feel refrigerator is definitely up there, mm. um, which is not covered in every home warranty plan. Again, there's tier systems, right. like with Fidelity Home Warranty, it's covered in our top two, or you can add it. Because the ice makers, the right. ice makers go oh, out go all the back. time, all and the you time. don't think about it, but an ice maker is about three to $400 to replace wow. if you didn't have a home warranty. Yeah, um, wow. I don't have the exact answer for you, but my guess would be uh, refrigerator. But if my manager's watching, sorry, Susan, I can't, <laughs> I can't recall. I know we talked no about worries. it. So, and you do do um, things like pools, right? You can add right. add-ons for pools. Um, yeah, right. we, we have uh, 24 optional upgrades. Oh, wow. Pool, okay. Pool would be number one for sure. Yeah. Um, we do offer uh, limited roof leak coverage. And um, one thing I like uh, that we offer, um, you do see air conditioning tune-up. Um, yeah. We also offer now water heater tune-up and garage door tune-up. Really? Um, okay. Yes. Nice. And a couple other things I like that we offer that's not common um, for $10 extra in our bottom three plans where I mentioned the um, homeowner's insurance and water heater. We actually have a $10 add-on. If that were to happen, oh, hold on a second. We're good. I'm, I'm having a thought. Oh. <laughs> it is $10, right? Homeowner's insurance, I think it's $30. Anyway, okay. it's an add-on. Um, okay. I'm getting that mixed up with another one of our uh, upgrades. But anyway, do, we do have an add-on that would help cover in that instance if a covered item from fidelity home warranty something happens like a, a plumbing leak and it caused damage to the house and you need homeowner's insurance it could possibly cover a thousand i think it's thirty dollars to add on it could cover to a thousand dollars towards your homeowner's insurance deductible 
Oh, nice. That's really cool and not very okay. common. Yeah. And another one would be if you think your air conditioner might go out, um, you definitely want home warranty coverage, but also it might not be replaced right away. So we also have a kind of a, a ho option for hotel. Okay. So if you kind of feel like this might be the year, you add that on for $75. Um, and then we cover, uh, I, I'm drawing a blank on the exact dollar amount. I want to say 500, but it might be, I think it's more um, towards hotel reimbursement. Okay, nice. Well, that's awesome. Um, yeah, I had no idea. It's kind of like um, uh, auto insurance, right? When you give you the, the rental car if your car is not working. So similar to that type deal. Well, to be honest, and why well, I kind of, I do feel bad that I don't know the exact numbers on a couple of those things, but we really see $500 on most real estate transactions here in Houston. And that is most home warranties, bottom home warranty plans. Yeah. And uh, I won't say it's a misconception, but one thing I'm constantly having to remind buyers I speak with is that that is a contribution. You can go over what the seller is contributing towards the home warranty. And if it, you, you have to be thankful that if a seller is contributing anything towards the home warranty, however, if it's um, $500 and your home is older than seven years, I would say speak with a local home warranty rep to see if they feel that's the bottom plan is the best fit. The reason why I say that is most home warranties bottom policies have more exclusions, including our own. Mm. And those exclusions are kind of geared towards homes being older. Those exclusions yeah. can result in possible claim denial or out of pocket cost. Okay. So, um, so I don't talk about optional upgrades as much because I see $500 so much and the buyers <laughs> really don't want to. Um, right. I'll just focus on, okay, we have these four plans. This is what I feel is best for you and why. But we do research the home. If I see they have a pool, I will mention the pool. And then if there's open up for, is there anything else you could recommend? Then we'll go a little bit deeper into the optional upgrades. But right. that's why yeah. I fumble a little bit. I don't like fumbling, but that's why I didn't have those yeah. on lock. Oh, yeah, no. Understood. That's good. That's good that uh, you have so many alternative plans and add-ons and, and you can kind of customize the way that fits you, right? Or right. fits my lifestyle. So that's, uh, that's good. Um, okay. Um, I think that's all of the questions I had. But, I mean, I think in general, home warranties, especially in a, an environment like Houston, it makes a lot of sense. I, and you're right. Not everyone uses, it, uses them in a real estate transaction. And definitely everyone doesn't use them when they're already living in a house, right? Mm -hmm. So most people you'll get, if you do get it for that one year, you'll let it lapse and, um, and then not take it, not renew it. And I think it does make a lot of sense to, uh, to have something, just a little extra peace of mind. Um, so many things that can, that are high cost dollar things in a house. I just replaced my AC unit last year, didn't have a warranty. And it cost me, I want to say $14,000 to replace my AC unit last year. So it definitely can be expensive. Anytime a plumber steps in your house, it's a few hundred bucks yeah. uh, to do anything, right? So, um, no, that makes sense. Um, okay, was there anything you wanted to add, Josh? I, I do. I know I've, I've, I've went over a lot. It's a lot to take in. That's why we always recommend you reaching out to your local home warranty experts. Most home warranty companies have uh, local representation in the area. Uh, I think it's better suited for if you have questions than calling the call center, but the call center will do a great job as well. Um, but when you're researching a home warranty, please don't focus on price. Please ask questions. With Fidelity National Home Warranty, we welcome all questions, all questions. But if you don't know what question to ask, um, and if you're shopping around, I actually have a sheet. It's a home warranty questionnaire because I've realized sometimes we're an option um, in a real estate transaction, but um, sometimes we don't get the chance to speak with buyer because they pick the first person they call. So I've created a home warranty questionnaire, nice. and it's, it's questions that realtors, I, I would like realtors to ask, home warranty, their home warranty reps, if it's not Fidelity National Home Warranty, or buyers when they're shopping. If Fidelity is not the only one, but we're in there, uh, I have answered the questions for Fidelity National Home Warranty. But I implore you, if you're shopping home warranty, which you should if your home is older, um, ask what are your dollar limits? Mm -hmm. We all cover the same items. That's a true statement. You might choose a plan that's 500 over a plan that's 620, but that $500 plan might cover 5,000 or less for air conditioning, 1,000, 2,000 or less for appliances. 
where Fidelity, we have no limit on air conditioning. Our appliances is $5,000 per appliance. Our water heater, we have no dollar limit. So if you want to see how we compare, there's only really a couple different areas you can look at, but one of the biggest differentiating factors that can save you in the long run is asking the question, what are your dollar limits, and focus on those big price point items like air conditioning, like water heater, and appliances. Yeah. All right. Makes sense. And, and that um, the frequently asked question or the questions to ask, is that a sheet that you have available that we can Yeah, I can add? provide that to you. Yeah, if you could provide that, that'd be mm -hmm. awesome. We'll uh, add it to uh, the post when we post this podcast. So that'd be great. Yeah, appreciate that. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, and I know uh, we um, kind of showed you here, but if you did want to get, um, we'll post your information, obviously, when we post the podcast, but it's also here on homewarranty.com. Great website URL, right. by the way. Snagged it. <laughs> Snagged it. I can't Home, believe it either. Homewarranty.com. And you go to uh, Real Estate Pros, right? Is that mm -hmm. the one I went to? Right. And then uh, find your local sales executive, and you put in your zip code. So I put in 77433, which is Cypress. And click search, and there's Josh and Sharon right there. So it has all their contact info. So feel free to reach out and right. Yeah, get Fidelity, going. Fidelity uh, National Home Warranty. We have uh, three reps currently, but by the time this probably goes goes out, uh, starting October, we'll ha we're adding our fourth rep in Clear Lake in the Bay Area. So we've got four local representatives that are standing by uh, to assist with any of your home warranty needs. Nice. That's awesome. All right. Well, thank you, Josh. I appreciate right. you making the trip over here and uh, joining us here in Sci-Fair Real Talk. Um, no, it's been enlightening. I know I learned a lot. But thanks yeah, for thanks me. again for, for coming in. And uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll uh, see you again soon. All right. Thank All right. you. Thanks, guys. And thanks for joining us online. So see you next time. Bye.